It's going to be a very casual video tonight. We spatchcocked a chicken, and we're going to take that baby, and we're going to put it on the fire pit. We're going to go old cowboy style out there. You can see that Kelly put all my herbs in, in her fireplace, which we did a video on. We just have to publish it. And here's some nice herbs and different vegetables coming up. We're not the best gardeners, but we're uh, getting some good information from other people on YouTube that plant community gardens and stuff. So we're trying to take their lead and see what happens. You see her stuff is really coming in nice. And we have the hardwood charcoal going on the pit. And then we're going to put that chicken on there and then we're going to do some Brussels sprouts on the Blackstone griddle. Smoking! Alright guys, let's get this chicken on. Mm-hmm. Of course, for poultry, you just have to be careful. And then, what I'm gonna do is we got ourselves a 10-pound weight, and I'm gonna put this guy right on there. We're just gonna let that go of that heat. And of course, comes to worst, it should take about 45 minutes, and we'll finish it off in the. Uh, and the grit gas grill. Got our bacon on. And then we're going to get our Brussels sprouts on right in the bacon side. Delicious. And then we got our chicken going on, Kelly. If you'd like to take a look, it's looking beautiful. Mashed chicken. <laughs> You old girl, you go lay down. All right guys, we're gonna flip this chick over. The coals are getting down nice, so I'm gonna flip it to the fatty side. Let's take a look at this baby. Oh yeah, she's sticking to the grates a little bit, that's all right. Ooh, it's a little blackened, but that's okay. Oh, blackened chicken. Yep, that's why we did the bottom side first. Ooh, it's just falling apart already. All right. Smells good. It smells really good. All right, so we're gonna put this on and we're gonna let it go for about 15, minutes and then I'm gonna foil it up and we're gonna drop the grate down. There we go. You put a this here is my favorite flower, a peony that I call my granddaughter. Her name is Iris but I call her peony. We're gonna get our Brussels sprouts on. Our chicken roll. I'm gonna brown these up and then we're gonna put them under the cover. Alright guys, so what we did, we put some salt and pepper on this, right? We're just gonna throw a little bit of oil on. And then I'm gonna cover these guys with the black stone. Griddle. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of a little we're gonna take a little bit of a little bit of cumin in there. And then later on we're gonna add some fresh thyme and we're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna turn this heat to low as well. Alright. It's just such a beautiful day out here. Just a little windy, that's all. You better have a Ah, look how beautiful that looks. It looks great, don't it? Yes, it does. All right, guys, I'm going over to our herb garden here. I'm going to pull me some thyme. I want some German thyme here. And we're going to take this and we're just going to throw it. Oop, that wasn't good. We're just going to throw this thyme right in our Brussels sprouts. We also threw on some leftover steak and potatoes from last night. Uh, look how good they're looking, guys. Beautiful. I'm going to take them on there and let them continue to cook. Opened up her door and thought it nailed it this time, but I wasn't sure. Yes, Guys, look at that. Juicy. So juicy. Wow. Unreal. Thanks for your support, guys. Please follow us on J and K Empty Nest Adventures. We'll see you next time.